went from condos to pops house on calls now bus routes and the one person who had the key to my heart took it and checked out all right, bro, uh, you know, I'm going to get a, a verse of the day, and then, you know, you could respond to it and then close this out. But uh, today is Matthew 11, 28 through 29. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in your heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Matthew 11, 28 through 29. Yeah, right, man, <clears throat> that was another perfect one right there. Like, uh, you know, when you're going through some stuff, like I said, all week I'm looking at some stuff, you know, uh, getting pissed off, ready to go in. And uh, and instead of going in, doing what well, my pride telling me, my pride saying go in and do this, or my pride telling me go embarrass this dude or, or go pull up over here, go, go, go hang out at the donut shop and wait all day for this clown. You know what I mean? Tell me all kind of stupid stuff. And then I say, you know what? I put it in God's hands. You know what I mean? Then I, I see a little clip. One of them clowns. He said, "Yeah, I tried to get the homies, and the homies sided with a cowboy." <laughs> I said, <laughs> "Like, you don't know, my my guy got my back. My real yeah, big homie yeah. got my back. So I, I, I guess you didn't. You, when I said no weapon formed against me shall prosper, they didn't, mm -hmm. I guess they thought I was playing. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, and I and I warned them the day before. I said, "Don't have me pray. Don't have me pray y'all away from me. Don't you know? Mm -hmm. Don't have me. You know." You, you know, uh, and, and that's what I did. But that right there, you know, I've been going through it. Uh, uh, bills piling up, a lot of different things going on. Uh, social media, uh, uh, my children, uh, and when everything seemed like it's hitting the fan, everything's just so unbearable for me. Like you know, it'd be days like we, we we in social media, but you don't see that we have regular lives and that we have ups and downs and we got problems and stuff as well. Yeah. So. I think that's why I, when I was at my aunt's house and I looked in there and I got those Bibles and I snatched up a Bible and I, and I ran to him. Yeah. You know, when you're going through it and it's like, damn, it seems like it ain't no no end. Like, damn, where, where, what I'm going to do? You know, like, damn, like, where I'm going to get some money from? I need to pay this. I got to do this. I got to do that. You're trying to figure it out, trying to figure it out. Yeah. And he tell you, no, just come over here and, and figure it out. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So basically that's what I did. When I went over there, got that Bible, opened up a couple verses, mm -hmm. bam, shot my enemies out the way. Boom, yeah. now I'm over here praying for some finances and damn, bam, 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 now it's looking better. Mm -hmm. You know? So yeah, so yeah, when you're going through it, that's basically telling you when you're going through it and you feel like it ain't no more hope, you know, uh, uh, call on him. Mm -hmm. Like I said, when I was on drugs, you know, I got on both knees. I prayed, like, hey, man, take the taste out of my mouth. Uh, and five minutes later, I was ready to get back high again. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I had just made that prayer, but I really wasn't ready to give up. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it, it started making it, everything was going bad. Everything was going bad. So just realize the power in your tongue and the power of your prayer is real. Yeah, yeah. You know, so if you, you got all this negative stuff in your life and all this negative going on, probably because you speaking it. You know, you constantly talking about it, or you yeah. constantly watching it all day. You yeah. constantly sucking it up, sucking it in. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, go out to the beach. So that's the next thing. Go out to that water and go look at the water mm -hmm. and uh, get some peace of mind. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, go meditate. You know, yeah. go talk to God for a minute and have Him show you the way. So yeah. that's what He wants. He wants you to rely on Him. So mm -hmm. that's another episode. Talk or take a fade. This marathon is still continuing. We out here running laps. That's another one. Cal Beasy and Paul P. Oh, my hand getting better, man. Getting, finally get the cash <laughs> on it, man. Finally yeah, getting yeah, better. Yeah.